The neuron, as we've defined it here, works like a building block. It is actually an extremely simple linear function, one which forms a flat line, or a plane when there's more than one input. With the two parameters, the weight and bias, we can stretch and squeeze and move our function up and down and left and right. As such, we should be able to combine it with other neurons to form a more complicated function. So let's start with a target function, one we want to approximate. I've hard-coded a bunch of neurons whose parameters were found manually, and if we weight each one and add them up as would happen in the final neuron of the network, what happened? Well, if we simplify our equation, distributing weights and combining like terms, we end up with a single linear function. Linear functions can only combine to make one linear function. This is a big problem, because we need to make something more complicated than just a line. We need something that is not linear, a non-linearity. In our case, we will be using a ReLU, a rectified linear unit. We're still trying to approximate the same function, and we're using the same weights and biases as before, but this time we're using a ReLU as our activation function. And just like that, the approximation looks way better.